Hey guys, I'm Broken Angel, and this is See Through, another visual novel. And I believe that the character is obsessive of nature, so let's get into it. I don't know why it keeps blanking. Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Oh, we're getting right into it. Cool. You better do as I say. I can ruin your life, you know. I can make you wish you were never born. Whose voice is that? Yeah, that's what I thought. It shouldn't be too much trouble, right? Open your eyes, don't. Ooh, what? Open our eyes. I try to open my eyes. It's dark. I feel something touch my shoulder as if to soothe me. I don't know who this is, but their voice is luring me back to sleep. Softness en envelopes me. Soft. Shh. Go back to sleep, my dear. The humming continued as I am pulled back into slumber. Your lungs feel ice cold and your throat is dry. You've been running for a long time from, from that thing. Do you even know where you are at this point? Desperately, you croak out a cry for help and your pitiful voice echoed across the empty city. Oh, damn it, I skipped that. Um, can I go back? Yep. No one heard you. At least no one seems to be around to hear you. Oh, footsteps. There is soft foot. Uh, there is a soft echo of footsteps. You called out to the stranger, begging for help. Wait, that's not right. Something isn't right. Stranger, where do you think you're going? You heard a laugh, and it bounced off the emptiness into your bones, making you shiver. You can't get very far without me. You need me. The stranger continued to shout at you, but you couldn't hear anything over the sound of your heartbeat pounding in your chest. You have to hide. No. You need to run. Oh, uh, run. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> I shut up in my bed sweat dripping off my face. Oh, it was a dream, thank God. I angrily glared at my alarm clock before slamming my hand on the snooze button. Finally, silence. I stretch a bit before going back into my covers. Wait. Who am I again? Ah, yes. My name is Angel. <clears throat> All right, I'm Angel. What are my pronouns again? Uh... She? <clears throat> How do you want to be referred to? Her? What is your possessive pronoun? Oh, okay, um... His. Oh yeah, man, you know, it was a good sleep when you can't even remember your entire existence. <laughs> Those are the best kind of sleeps. I just wish I remembered what I was dreaming about. I don't think you do. I got more important things to worry about. Like, tomorrow is the first day of my college career. I would be lying if I said I wasn't kind of nervous. Okay, maybe a lot nervous. I decide to finally get out of bed. I look around the room at the various knickknacks and books I own, looking for something to take my mind off tomorrow. I have a couple of minutes to kill before going to work anyway. <coughs> okay, so... You know what? I am kind of in the mood to read. I crouch down to get a better look at my bookshelf. Horror, romance, I changed my mind, I don't want to read. 
Hmm. What genre am I in the mood for today? I'm going to go with romance. I'm all about horror, but I do like a little bit of romance as well. I want to read something sappy. I settle on an all-time favourite, the... The... <laughs> the Royal's Loyal Dog. Try saying that really fast. <laughs> Giddily, I settle back into bed and open the book. Oh, ex wasn't expecting you. Excuse me. You plan on staying in bed all day? Holy shit. In a moment of panic, I drop whatever it was I was holding. Friend stickers and picks up the thing. Sorry, it's just me. He hands the item back to me. Um, <clears throat> take the item back. Wow, you're really funny. I replied sarcastically and took my property out of his hand. Oh, come on. It was kind of funny. How'd you even get in here? He gives a confused look and digs into his pocket. You gave me this dummy, don't you remember? He dangled his keychain in my face, which just so happened to contain the spare key I gave him for emergency use. Does this look like an emergency, bro? And the little narwhal keychain I gave him when we were in sixth grade. You're such a nerd. I can't believe you still have that. I point to the decrepit narwhal. Well, it's adorable. Of course I still have it. Why do you keep skipping? Sorry. He tucks his keychain back into his pocket. Anyway, I came by in case you wanted to uh, wanted a ride to work. Walking is good for you, but being the nice person I am, I decided to see if he wanted to give your legs a break. Aw, how nice. Tis what friends are for, sweetheart. Alright, give me a few minutes and I'll be ready. Take your time, I'm going to use your TV to catch up on my show. He waves at me and saunters off into my living room, closing my door with a soft click. Ugh, I really don't want to go. But I gotta pay the bills. Blah. I miss being a kid. I remember when friend and I would go investigate haunted buildings together and do all sorts of crazy shit. Being an adult sucks. I take my pyjamas off and slip the uniform shirt over my head, quickly buttoning it up. God, uniforms suck ass. Ugh, enough complaining. I leave my room and walk into the bathroom. I can hear the faint sound of the show Friend is watching. Why is his name Friend? Did I, was there an option for me to put a name in? I pick up my toothbrush and squirt some toothpaste on there. You know, it was really nice of friend to take me to work today. I really didn't want to walk. Who does? After I go through my daily hygienic routine, I head to the living room. Oh yeah, weirder activities? <laughs> friend? I call out. Yep, I'm in here. Figured you'd want some water. It's good to drink water first thing in the morning. Aw, how sweet. He hands me the glass and I guzzle it down. Hey, since we're driving, maybe we can stop and get some coffee too. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I sheepishly rub the back of my neck. Money has been kind of tight recently. Plus, I don't want to end up being late. That's fine. I'll pay. Don't worry about it. No, it's okay. I'm not even that... My sentence was interrupted by a yawn. You were saying? Friend laughs. Yeah, okay, whatever. We make our way out of my apartment complex and onto the sidewalk. Friend leads me to his fancy schmancy car. <laughs> Here we are, my dear. He says as he opens the passenger door. Oh my god, this guy is so cute. I politely bow and fix my imaginary monocle. <laughs> Why, thank you, kind sir. I duck my head into the seat and buckle on. Friend closes the door and makes his way to the driver's seat. 
He starts the car and I feel the soft vibrations from the engine. We ease out onto the street and begin making our way over to... Wait, where are we going? So you decide on a place to get some coffee? Mm, oh yeah, there's a really cute cafe nearby. They are supposed to have these really good frappes. Hmm, how far away is it? Friend chuckled. Don't worry, it's not that far. He said and patted my knee assuringly. Something about the touch made me feel... <laughs> I felt a tinge of warmth across my face and turned to look out the window. I watched as the buildings disappeared behind us. Friend's hand didn't move an inch. Is this alright? I whipped my head around to face him. I mean, I'm not making you uncomfy or anything, right? Uh, no, that's, it's fine. Friend sighed, relieved. Uh, good. The last thing I would want to do is make you uncomfortable. He spoke coolly, his thumb gently stroking my thigh. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Getting flustered in real life. <clears throat> I nodded and went back to looking out the window. Friend turned up the radio and began to softly sing to the song. Hey friend, I'm not going to be late again, am I? I asked, crossing my arms. He chuckles a bit and takes a side glance at me. What makes you think you'll be late again? Um, lucky guess. Hmm. He hums a bit. I mean... Friend, I cannot be late again. I'll get fired. I'm sure your boss will understand. Coffee is important. I mean, coffee is important, but I don't want to get fired. <laughs> and besides, you won't get fired. Just trust me. Friend, I just told you that money is kind of tight right now. I need all the hours I can get. Shh, relax. I promise you won't get in trouble. Friend, why won't you trust me? Would it make you feel better if I said I already talked to your boss? Wait, what? He was very nice about it. He said you've been such a hard worker and that you deserve it. Really? That doesn't sound like something Mr. Jameson would say. Yeah. You swear I'm not going to get in trouble at work? Of course not. I used my charm. <laughs> this guy's cute. Right. <clears throat> but do you pinky swear? I extend my pinky out to him. I pinky promise, sweetheart. Mm, so, Alright, I believe you. We release each other's hands and friend goes back to humming to the radio. His voice was pulling me into a soft slumber and it was getting harder and harder to keep my eyes open. I yawn and then look at him. You know, you have a nice voice. What? I said you're a dork. <laughs> we pull into a parking lot at a building I don't recognise. Eh? We are here! Friend giddily unbuckles and exits the car. Then he circles back around to my side. Friend opens my door and unbuckles me. I rub my eyes and yawn. Pfft, come on, sleepy. Friend extends his hand out to me. Ah, uh, take his hand. I sleepily take Friend's hand as he helped me out of the car. He shut the door and places his hand on my lower back. Let's go. He practically purred and escorted me to the front door. <clears throat> the aroma of coffee enveloped my sense, giving me a secondhand caffeine boost. Oh, I love the smell of coffee. It's a cute little shop, just not very busy it seems. There's a few people over by the corner of the store just chatting. Coupled with the upbeat music, it feels very homey. I scan around the place seeing just one lone employee here who looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. Man, it's like a ghost town in here. Yeah, it isn't as a, a very busy place, so I thought it'd be perfect. Do you know what you'd like to drink? Hmm. A 
latte, please? A latte? Alrighty, why don't you go sit while I order our drinks? Sure thing. Friend gives me a smile as I make my way over to an empty table. I plop myself in, down into a seat, leaning back with a sigh. Hopefully, friend was telling the truth about me not getting into trouble at work. I mean, not that he's a liar or anything, just uh, what am I worried about? I look out the window. The quiet and the warmth of the cafe holds, lures me into deep thought. Hey, stop skipping. I begin to think about a couple things. Rent is due soon. Hopefully this short outing won't make me short on rent. The landlady is very kind and very understanding, but I don't want to make her feel like I'm taking advantage of her. Not only is rent due, but school starts tomorrow. Maybe I should look into getting a roommate? I would ask friend, but I'm not sure. He's basically set for life, what with his online store and all. What would he need a roommate for? Maybe my boss will be kind of gentle about this? Now that I'm thinking about it, how did friend find his number? The office numbers are private due to scam calls and silly teens pulling pranks. They are only handed out to business clients. Did I tell him and just not remember? As if on cue, friend comes back with two cups. Here's your latte, dearest. He sits the cup down beside me. And he's mine. <laughs> what is that? That actually looks really good. Friend shuffles into his seat, taking a drink of his... That thing looks bigger in person. I gesture at the monstrosity that is his frappe. Don't do it. He clears his throat. <clears throat> Alright, fine. I won't. That's what she said. <laughs> Why? Because it was hilarious. Sometimes I question our friendship. No, don't say that, you meanie. We continue to banter and joke around when my thoughts drag me back to my question earlier. Hey friend. Yes? Do you really... Did you really call my boss? Of course, I wouldn't lie to you. How did you find his number? It was in your contacts, silly. He wipes his face off gently. Um, do I probe him some more or do I change the subject? Uh, let's change the subject. You're a suspicious dude sometimes, you know that? Suspicious, does that make me more attractive? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Look at you, falling for me already. Why are you the way that you are? He shrugs, a look of confidence gracing his features. What can I say? I'm just that cool. I snort before taking a sip of my coffee. Wow, so cool. Sarcasm does not suit you, sweetheart. He sighs playfully before reaching across the table. Oh god, he wipes my face off gently, chuckling. His fingers ghost on my face, lightly stroking my cheek. He was extremely close. He whispers softly, like I was fragile. You can be too cute sometimes, you know that? He sat back in his seat like nothing happened. It takes a moment for me to process what just happened, but when I do, I can feel my face heating up. Oh, cute. Oh hush, you just caught me off guard, that's all. Friend chuckles a bit before gathering up our stuff. Whatever you say, sweetheart. Ready to go? Yeah, wait, what time is it? Friend glances at the, around the cafe looking for some type of clock. He spots one on the other side and squints a bit. It is 10.30? Oh my god, I'm so late. I pounce out of my seat and make a dash for the door. Hey, hang on! Friend throws away our drink cups quickly, follow suits. Friend opens the door for me as I plop myself inside buckling up once again. Thank you for the coffee, sir friend. 
Anything for you, love? Friend taps on the steering wheel nervously. Hey. Hmm? Do you want to hang out some more? We can go wherever you want and I can pay. We have school tomorrow though and since I'm going to be late at work, they may keep me over. It's every time I click in and out of the game. <laughs> well, you don't have to go back to work. I mean, you're already late anyway. You could just hang out with me. Uh, realistically, I have to go to work. But then again, my impulsiveness, if this was real. <laughs> oh my god. Um... I actually like this dude, so I guess I could just call him. <laughs> Friend smiles brightly. Wow, I didn't expect you to actually say yes. Uh, great. Do you want to stop by your house and get changed? I don't think you'd want to wear a uniform while we are out and about. Yeah, if you don't care. Not at all. We could go shopping if you want, or we could go see a movie. Wow, so many options. I laugh and ponder on what I want to do. Um, I want to ask him what he wants to do. What I want to do? Friend hums a bit in thought. Ah, I know just the place. I hope you're ready for some more caffeine. <laughs> I'm always ready for caffeine. What is it? You'll see. Do you want to stop by your house first and get changed? That uniform can't be comfortable. He nods at my white top and dress pants. Yeah, that's a good idea. But when we head over there, no peeking. You got it. Friend drove us back to my place and we ascended the stairs up to my apartment. All right, give me one second. I gotta call my boss and tell him I'm not coming in at all. Hopefully he doesn't yell at me. Oh <laughs> well, I could call him instead if you want. If it makes you feel anxious, I can do it. Um, I don't know. They may fire me. Friend scoffs and crosses his arms. If they fire you over missing one day out of the bajillion you've worked, they're stupid. You've been working so hard recently. The least they can do is give you a day off every once in a while. How about this? I call them, tell them that you just can't make it in today due to a sickness or something. Deal? You've already taken the morning off. You might as well take the whole day off and relax. Oh, um... <clears throat> Annoying me because I do have anxiety I would rather them call for me so I don't have to deal with the situation so let friend do it well uh, fuck it sure if you actually want to he smiles and quickly fishes out his phone you got it boss now go get changed go get changed he ushers me off to my room closing the door with a click I give him a smile from behind the door. What a weirdo that life stuck me with. I walk over to the old armoire my mother gave me. The wooden doors creak open. All of a sudden I feel a shiver go down my spine. Why do I feel so on edge? I look around the room for something that is making me feel uneasy. Friend's voice muffled by the walls. I stare at Friend's plushies on top of the opposite shelf. For some reason, it feels like they're staring into my soul. Eek. Should I turn them around before getting changed? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, That's a bit odd. Do you think that there's something in the toys? And he's actually spying? 
because that's very creepy. I'll turn them around. I walk over to the shelf and gently turn them around. Plushies don't need to see naked people anyway. <laughs> I'll turn them back when I'm home. Now let's get changed. Hmm, what should I wear? Uh, let's go cute. You know what? We are going to be out and about. I want to look nice. I put on my best outfit and go out. Hey, you ready to go? Fred looks around the room as if to avoid any sort of eye contact. Are you okay? I reach out to gently touch his shoulder. Yep, never better. <laughs> Let's get going. Let's get going. And with that, I am ushered out the door yet again. And he is drooling. Oh my god. Fred escorts me into the car, reminding me to keep my eyes closed. I sigh and obey his um, instructions. I'm so excited to show you this place. I come here every so often and I've always thought about bringing you here. Well, I'm excited to see what it is. I hope you like cats. Oh my god, what is it? Huh? Fran guides me through what I'm assuming is the parking lot and I hear a lock and a door open with a soft ding. He unshields my eyes. I look around in the brightly lit store and as I do, a cat comes and rubs itself against my leg. Oh my god, it's a cat cafe! <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Friend sheepishly looks at the ground, fidgeting in place. I like to come here when I need to relax sometimes. I smile. This is a cute little surprise, friend. Thank you. Hmm, where are the employees? Oh, it's just us. Is that even allowed? Wouldn't this be breaking and entering? Friend chuckles and looks at me warmly. I know the owner. My grandparents are very close friends with him, so he trusts me. Perks of coming from a wealthy family, I guess. I just wanted to show you around and have a little relaxation with you. If you aren't comfy with it, that's fine. We can go somewhere else. Um, no, we can stay. No, no, this is a great surprise, friend. Thank you. He visibly relaxes. Take a seat, take a seat. He gestures over to one of the mini tables. Let me introduce you. We get to meet the cats. <laughs> friend introduces each cat one by one. There's so many, there's no way I'm going to remember all their names. They are all adorable, though. I would die for these cats. <laughs> Friend gives me a small laugh. Sorry, but I can't let you do that. I need you around. Who else am I going to annoy? I roll my eyes before pushing his shoulder, laughing. Hey, Angel. I pull my attention away from the cats and look at him. Yeah, what's up? I need to tell you something. Which is kind of the reason I asked you to come here. I wait for him to continue. Friend sucks a deep breath in as if to calm his nerves. What happened to the music? It just like died. I like you. Oh, well, I like you too. He lets out a small nervous laugh. No, that's not what I meant, silly. I mean that I love you. I loved you for a really long time. I want nothing more than to be with you. So, oh, oh, I rub the back of my neck sheepishly. What am I supposed to say? Um, I like you too, friend. Oh, great. Now it's my turn to get flustered. Like I said, totally fine. You, you don't feel the same way, friend. No, no, I totally get it. I mean, this all came out of nowhere and friend. I'd like you too. I don't know if I can call it love or anything, but I have some feelings towards you. Do you really mean that? Yes, you dummy. And plus, I kind of already knew you liked me. What? How? I point at the little hearts dancing around his head. <laughs> He glances upwards and we both share a laugh. 
Let's get out of here, huh? I nod an envelope, his hand in mine. Oh, this is so cute. Ah, oh, there's the music. We make it back to my apartment and bought a bunch of snacks on the way there. Ah, oh, home sweet home. I collapse on the couch, letting the exhaustion of running around all day leave my body. Friend stickers and sits beside me, placing the various goods beside the couch. Aren't you uncomfortable wearing that right now? I groan, muffled by the couch cushion. <laughs> he snorts and takes my shoes off for me. Why don't you go change and I'll get a show started for you. Mm, fine. Help me up, please. I reach my hand out to him and he takes it. I stumble a bit when I'm fully off the couch. I got ya, I got ya. I lazily meander my way to my room and quickly discard the uniform. I slip on something comfy and come back into the living room. The lights are off and friends set some drinks and snacks on the couch. I plop myself on the opposite end of the couch. Ooh, does that say unsettled mysteries, I think. But unsolved mysteries is something I would watch. <clears throat> Friend looks at me and warmly smiles. Here you go, don't you feel better now? He chuckles and hands me some snacks. After a few episodes, Friend yawns and picks up the remote. The voices on the TV stopped as Friend sits the remote back down. Hey, I was watching that. Watching what? He sticks his tongue out at me. Whatever, give me the remote. He laughs as I lunge for him. You gotta be quicker than that. You almost had it. Ugh. Oh, sorry. I lunge for it again, yet Friend expertly dodges my grasp. Oof, too slow yet again. That smug little... I jump on the couch and reach for it yet again. Yes, got it. Ha, take that! At Friend stares at me, wide-eyed and blushing. The position is a little... Huh, didn't realize you were on top. Why are you the way that you are? What, dashing? Hilarious? Cool. I rolled my eyes and giggled. I feel his arms wrap around me as he pulls me down into his chest. He smells good. It's comforting. The lines between friendship and romantic ship have already been blurred. I might as well enjoy it. I take a deep breath and feel him rub comforting circles on my back. Well, since you won fair and square, I guess we can watch more Unsettled Secrets? I thought that said it said mystery is not secrets. Mysteries! <laughs> sure. I stick my tongue out at him. Why is this my energy? Oh my god. Uh, oops. Should have been quicker than that, Slowpoke. Keep sticking that tongue out at me and I may just end up having it in my mouth. Oh my god. He laughs as my brain tries to process the words. Friend smiles a bit deviously. So soft. He whispers next to my ear. So lovely. His hands go down my back, resting on my hips. My breath gets caught in my throat as I stare back up at him. So mine. He gently tilts my chin up to him and closes the distance. He kisses me softly, gently nibbling on my bottom lip. I open my mouth to give him access. He doesn't waste any time. As soon as he was granted permission, his tongue delved inside, toying with my own. Ooh, it's getting a bit hot in here. My soft whimpers were muffled by the intimacy. His hands gripped my hips tightly, pulling me against him. Eventually, we had to pull away. He groaned, a pink decorating his cheeks. Is this okay? Can we go further, please? He begs in between breaths. I won't be mad if you don't want to, I promise. He brushes his knuckles across my face, leaving a trail of butterfly kisses across my cheek. Can we? Lord, oh my god. Well, we've already gotten to this point, like... <clears throat> I 
Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck. He whimpered a bit before flipping me onto my back. Oh, my God. Are we really getting into this right now? He was on top of me now. Fran places his hands beside my head, caging me in his arms. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. I can't believe this is happening. I let out a squeak as he scoops me off, off the couch and takes me to my room. He slams my door open and gently tosses me on the bed. He takes his shirt off, tossing it into the corner. Wow, someone's really... He, he was waiting a long time. <laughs> I'm back to being caged in his arms in a matter of moments. Okay, I think we're safe now. I can't believe this actually happened. <clears throat> I've wanted you for so long. You are mine. Something cold touches your cheek. I've wanted you for so long. You're mine. Oh, whoops. I love you so much. Knowing that you feel the same, it makes me so happy. Something gently strokes your hair and your curl into its touch. We can be together forever. Forever. Endeavor. Oh my god. <laughs> Endeavor. Jeez. Ending boyfriend. <laughs> okay, so we got the good ending at least. <clears throat> but my god. I actually really loved this. Um, my other favorite is my boyfriend. Oh no, sorry. A date with a serial killer. That is an amazing game as well. Uh, yeah, shout out to the creator of this because this was great. Besides the really in depth lovey scene. <laughs> But um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. If you would like to see the bad ending, which I'm sure there is, if you like pick all the options that go against what he wants to do, uh, let me know and I will do it. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in another video. Thank you. Bye.